green energy for a better world. What does a better world mean? It means a world where we've solved the climate crisis. And why is this so important? Well, it is because we would very much like to contribute to a world where we can actually see our children and our grandchildren growing up and uh, living happily and safely. I'm optimistic with achieving a 100% green energy system in Denmark. I think we've come far already and we actually see the steps ahead of us that it is possible to end up with a 100% green energy system. But we need to do it smart, of course. We need to do it wisely, but it is actually doable. On September 15th, 2019, Denmark saw the first day where the wind power generation exceeded the demand for 24 consecutive hours and produced 30% more electricity for the whole day than the demand was in Denmark. We are the TSO, as it's called, Transmission System Operator of Denmark within the areas of electricity and gas. We own and operate the, the transmission system, including all the interconnections with uh, neighboring countries. We develop the markets for electricity and gas, and we balance uh, electricity and gas markets. We have focused on optimizing the system to handle variable renewable energy in system operation, in forecasting, and by now we handle 50% wind power and still maintain one of the highest levels of security of supply in the world. In the first half of the green transition, the important uh, challenge was to ensure access to, to infrastructure and access to electricity markets. I think we've succeeded in doing that in, uh, in Denmark. We see uh, more than 60% uh, than renewables in our energy uh, consumption. But for the second half, I think the main challenge will be to ensure access to data and digitization. Climate change is, is probably the most serious problem that we face uh, on the globe. And solving this issue is to a very large extent about moving away from using fossil energy to uh, green energy. And that, that's our objective here at uh, Inekidet. In Denmark, we have a lot of sites for very good uh, offshore wind uh, opportunities. We have way more than we can use in Denmark. Uh, in the future, we expect that we will be able to make uh, green uh, fuels that can be used in industry from first green electricity and then via electrolysis transform it into uh, green gases. Wind power and solar power is actually one of the most efficient ways of producing green energy. And with this green electricity, we can also substitute fossil fuels in all other sectors of the economy. We have to have 100% renewable-based electricity uh, production in 2030. We have to accelerate the green transition if we are to arrest uh, these uh, devastating climate changes that, uh, that we're looking into. In Guinea cannot do this alone. The energy sector cannot do this alone. We have to collaborate, we have to innovate together to elaborate on the system needs as well as the commercial and business needs in the markets. By collaborating and innovating together, I think we will be able to reach the ambitious Danish targets on the energy transition. We are actively contributing to making the world a better place. You have to ask yourself, okay, how can we uh, contribute to this uh, green transition? What does, what does going green mean for us? We cooperate with more than 15 countries from China to Mexico, South Africa to Iceland. And by sharing these experiences from Denmark, we hope that we can help some of our colleagues in other countries to leapfrog some of the barriers that they will face. We need to be bold. We need to take more calculated risks and, for instance, invest more up front. I think, you know, sitting there in 2030 and say, OK, we are now safely on the trajectory towards 
an energy system 100% based on green energy. That would be great. And if I can say, okay, I did, <laughs> I did my, my contribution to, to this, uh, that would make me very proud.